Hello, let's approach a contextual problem. Every morning I'm heading to the subway station which is located about uh, one kilometer north of my place and I'm walking at an approximate speed of six kilometers per hour. My friend is also walking towards this subway station in the morning but she's located about two kilometers west of this station. I'm going to make a small diagram to represent this situation. I'm going to use the knowledge that the distance is equal to the product between velocity and time. Knowing that, I can put on this diagram for me, traveling north, I know this distance to be six times the time. Uh, six, which is the velocity, six kilometers per hour, as I mentioned, times the time. That's why I'm putting here the distance to be 6t. My friend, on the other hand, traveling at 5 km per hour, the distance traveled after any amount of time t is going to be 5t. As we know the distance from each home to the subway station, we can calculate the difference here to be, in my case, 1 minus 6t, and in my friend's case, is going to be 2 minus 5t. Calculating the distance between me and my friend at any time is very easy. What we need to determine in this problem is the rate of change of the distance between the two of us at a particular given moment, let's say after five minutes. The distance between the two of us, which I'm going to denote with s of t, we can calculate by creating the function using the information I just put on this diagram and of course the Pythagorean theorem s of t is going to be square root of one side is 1 minus 6t square plus the other side which is uh, 2 minus 5t square so let's perform the operations here and bring this expression to a simpler form I'm going to continue 1 minus 12t plus 36t square plus the other parenthesis is going to become 4 minus 20t plus 25t square. And everything, all this expression, I'm going to put it at power 1 by 2. It's easier to write it this way. And uh, adding the like terms, we're going to have 5 minus 32t plus 61t square at power 1 over 2. I'm writing it this way instead of the square root because, as you know, when differentiating functions, we prefer to write them, uh, to express them as powers instead of uh, roots. What I need to determine is the derivative of this function, s of t, in that particular moment after that five minutes. We need to convert uh, this into hours to be able to calculate uh, correctly the result. So this five minutes in hours is going to be five divided by 60, because there are 60 minutes in an hour, and we can simplify this to be 1 over 12 hours. Now all we have to do is calculate the derivative of s of t. And as you can see, we have an expression at a power. And for that, we're going to need to apply the chain rule. As long as you constructed your problem correctly, at this point it becomes very simple to determine just the derivative of this function s prime of t is going to be the power 1 by 2 times the expression in the parentheses 5 minus 32t plus 61t square at power 1 by 2 minus 1 which is minus 1 by 2 times the derivative ddx of the expression in the parentheses so 5 minus 32t plus 61t square let's continue by performing the derivative of this uh, expression. So we're going to have 1 by 2 times uh, 5 minus 32t plus 61t squared at power minus 1 by 2. And the derivative here is minus 32 plus 61 times 2, which is 122t. And this is the expression for our derivative of s of t. But we need to determine what is the rate of change of the distance after 5 minutes or after 1 over 12 hours. So I'm going to calculate s prime of 1 over 12 and it's very easy to replace this value 
in the expression that we just uh, determined above. So we're going to have 1 over 2 times 5 minus 32 over 12 plus 61 over 12 square, which is 144. All this at power minus 1 by 2 times minus 32 plus 122 over 12. It's preferable to keep the fractions until the end. So I'm going to bring to a common denominator uh, wherever I can. Uh, here in the second parenthesis uh, I'm going to multiply by 12. And in the first parenthesis I'm going to multiply 5 by 144 and 32 by 12 to get the same common denominator of 144. And also performing the operations in this second parenthesis which is remaining in the numerator we're going to have minus 262 over 12 and the denominator is going to be that 2 that we had already times square root because we had that uh, 1 by 2 and the negative it means it's in the denominator the numerator in this first um, expression in the parentheses it's adding up to be 397 over the common denominator 144 of course use your calculators and also use it to uh, determine this final result which I'm going to approximate to minus 6.57 kilometers per hour that means that the distance between me and my friend after five minutes is decreasing at a rate of 6.57 kilometers per hour and this is a type of problem that you may encounter in which you're gonna have to make use of the chain rule I hope you find this useful thanks for watching